Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 5th of 2021. Well, it is titled a little like Mars. So what do we see here? Well, we see the entire horizon there condensed into a kind of a planet shape in the middle, which may resemble a little bit the planet Mars, which we've been looking at a lot recently especially with the Perseverance rover having landed uh, just this past month. However, it is rea in reality Earth and we see the Earth there as well as a number of objects in the sky. So you can see a whole bunch of things there and a lot of that can be labeled if we uh, move the mouse here, we'll put some labels on that. And you can see if we start down in the lower left hand corner, we see the planet Mars itself. So Mars actually is in this image. Mars is the red planet and is currently being explored by two rovers Curiosity, which has been there since 2012, and Perseverance, which has just landed. If we work our way upwards from that, we see the Pleiades star cluster, a nice open cluster of stars in the constellation of Taurus. And up above and around towards the top, we see the bright constellation of Orion, a very prominent winter constellation. And we can see the uh, three bright stars close together in the belt of Orion and then the sword, in this case, pointing upward and in the image. Now a little further to the right of that is Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. And that is one of the very brightest objects, very easy to see in the winter time sky. And as we look over to the other side, we see a couple of we see some nebulae, the gum nebula and the Eta Carinae nebula, and then another bright star Canopus. Now we also see a couple of other galaxies here, which are the large and small Magellanic clouds. So those are two small satellite galaxies of our Milky Way. And you can actually see the Milky Way itself, although not labeled kind of arcing around the top of this image. And then as we go down towards the bottom, the other thing that we see is the zodiacal light. Zodiacal light is caused by dust within our solar system that reflects the light from the sun back to us. So it's called zodiacal light because it happens to pass through the constellations of the zodiac, which is also the plane of our solar system. Now, if you look at Orion there up towards the top again, I did note that it's upside down. The reason it's upside down is not because of the projection, but it is upside down for those of us in the northern hemisphere. It's actually the way those in the southern hemisphere would see it, because being south of the equator, things are going to be opposite of what they would be north of the equator. So in this case, we're used to seeing Betelgeuse as the upper upper left hand star. And here it is down at the lower right. So the entire thing has been flipped upside down. And we also know, of course, it's in the southern hemisphere, since that's the only place we can see the large and small Magellanic clouds, which are also a part of this image. So that was our picture of the day for March the 5th of 2021. It was titled a little like Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.